Meanwhile, scientists have awakened a 46,000-year-old roundworm. Yes, a 46,000-year-old worm. Scientists hope to discover how the parasite survived extreme conditions and is still alive while the Earth faces soaring global temperatures. Experts believe that this discovery could teach humanity survival techniques. So how did the microscopic critter survive for so long? Will humans also adapt to changing weather patterns like the roundworm did? Our next report has more. Nematodes, also known as roundworms. They are parasites that thrive in numerous places like soil, fresh water, marine environments, even inside animals and plants. They are known to be the most abundant on Earth. Scientists have now discovered that roundworms can go dormant for several years. You might not believe it, but scientists have revived a 46,000-year-old female microscopic roundworm. It's a new species of roundworm. Where was it found? Inside a Siberian permafrost. It was excavated from nearly 130 feet below the surface. Radiocarbon dating helped discover that the soil was over 40,000 years old. This um, piece of soil had been frozen for a very long time and then used radiocarbon dating later to determine that it's actually been frozen for 46,000 years. Um, and when they dug it up, they made, um, took all measures they could to not introduce any contamination from the outside. So, so why does this discovery matter? Well, experts say that they will now study the parasite and unlock how the creature went dormant to survive extreme environments. Scientists say, and I quote, we need to know how species adapted to the extreme through evolution to maybe help species alive today and humans as well. The whole uh, earth seems to be moving to, to a more extreme environment. And, and I think by studying these species, comparing their genomes and see how they adapted to these extreme conditions. We can learn a lot about conservation biology. Uh, we can learn things that could inform us to maybe save um, endangered species um, and, and think about protection measures and, and all these things. Experts are calling this an act of cryptobiosis. Cryptobiosis is a state of inactivity where an organism stops its metabolic activities. Procedures like reproduction, development and repair of the body parts go dormant. The new nematode has broken the dormancy record, earlier set by an Antarctic species. This particular species reproduces without a mate. Scientists have taken full advantage of that and raised more than a hundred generations from the single nematode. In the age of climate change and extreme weather shifts, the study on nematodes could help humans adapt to changes in the near future. You see, nematodes pump out sugar, which helps them protect their DNA from degrading. They uh, build this sugar, creolose, which somehow helps them protect their DNA and proteins while they are in this resting stage. And they found that in our panoglyma species, they basically do the same. They also enrich a lot of creolose, um, which apparently helps them uh, to also protect their cells, their DNA, their proteins when they are frozen. So could humans also use such a technique to save themselves? Will the 46,000-year-old nematode be the key to our survival? Your report, Vion, World is One. Vion, World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.